Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is not the live stream, but this is a recorded video session today as I need to go see my uh, family uh, tonight. So uh, tonight is the video session. And I would like to talk about the pound pairs because the pound has been quite strong today. So pound has been trending up right now. So I will look through these pound pairs and which one would be great to look for an opportunity. So before moving on, uh, just a quick disclaimer, this information today is basically based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. So um, let me look into pound. So uh, before that, um, just one uh, quick uh, review of the currency strengths. Uh, if you can look at the currency strengths chart, this is the currency strengths chart and, uh, and the pound is a green one. As you can see here, the pound is a green one and the pound has been quite strong today. So this is today's currency strengths and as you can see the pound has been going up right now. So pound is the most strongest currency as for today. And that's why I wanted to talk about the pound pairs today and see which one is good one to look for a buying opportunity. So first, let me talk about the pound dollar and this is on the daily chart. And on this daily chart, as per Ichimoku lines, um, the Tenkan Sen is up, Kijun Sen is up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a nice bullish momentum. And as you can see the chart today, it's quite a strong bullish trend, strong bullish candlestick right now. So no doubt this is bullish, but one thing as per daily chart is that the Kumo is just twisted. Kumo just twisted and this is too tiny. This is like a newborn Kumo, just born today. So um, if you see this very tiny and just twisted Kumo, the market can retrace backwards anytime soon. And in terms of the resistance line, there is a resistance here at a 1.4241 level. So the price could go up all the way to that level, which will be the initial ultimate target. But um, until then, until the market reaches there, the price can drop and consolidate and go up on the end wave like this. Because of this Kumo structure, this is too tiny, too short. So um, the price can retrace anytime soon is my view. So let me cover daily charts first and then I will look at the forward chart later on. So let's move on to the pound JPY. If you can just remember this Kumo structure and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen structure and also Chikou Span location and let's compare this chart with the J uh, pound JPY. So here is the pound JPY and this is on the daily chart. So as you can see here, um, this is Kumo has been developing upwards and the single spam B is now up and A is up too because of this breakout and also Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross happens on the this daily chart and Kijun Sen itself is gone up and Chikou Spam breakout is about to happen. So in this condition, this is nicer uptrend than pound data. And this Kumo structure, this is more stable but in this condition, as you can see, the price is at the resistance line. And also Chikou Span just broke, just breaking the candles. But we have to wait and see if this candle close. Because uh, if this candle close will become below the resistance today, then um, the Chikou Span will be still touching with the candles. And from tomorrow, it might be traced backwards. So this is where I have to be patient. We don't want to jump in in this kind of condition because in this case too, the market can retrace backwards. So let me compare it with uh, pound AUD. So here is pound AUD and as you can see here, this has been ranging. It's just going up and downwards. So although we have a nice and stable pound pair trending up today, this particular pair, pound AUD is flat. And in terms of Kumo and Kijun Sen, you can see the flatness and also Chikou Span is still 
too close with the candles. So this is not the trending market. This is ranging on the daily chart. So you don't look at this one today. So pound AUD, you don't look at it today. And let's compare with the pound CAD. So here is pound CAD, and um, it was downtrending um, from uh, 21st of April. It has been trending down, but um, from uh, last Friday, 7th of May, it tried to retrace, and today also it's retracing backwards. So, and also we can see that the Kumo Senkospan B flat now, and A is still down, but Kijun Sen flat, and the price broke the Tenkan Sen. And in this case, Namuraki can retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen. So I don't recommend you to look for the sell chance anymore on this pair because it's retracing backwards. So um, yeah, it can retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen. So uh, this is not the trending pair. It's just retracing. So it has been downtrending, but now it's retracing. So we have to wait until the market starts to go down and look for the sell chance. Otherwise, it can be still in the range in market. It can go up to the Kijun Sen, but not really in a stable manner. There might be some ups and downs until the market reaches to the Kijun Sen on the daily chart. So in this one, you have to avoid because this is in the middle of the retracement against the major direction on the daily chart. And finally, uh, let me check the pound Swiss franc. Yeah, the pound Swiss franc on the daily chart here is also flat because the uh, Kumo is flat. Just twist it, and after the Kumo twist, this is bearish Kumo, but bearish Kumo is flat. Senkospan B flat, A flat, and also the Kijun Sen flat too. And the price is exactly in the Kumo now. So, in definition, this is also flat and ranging market. So, there is no trend on this pair too. So today, the pound, once again, has been quite strong. The pound has been quite strong today. However, if you look at the pound pairs, then the thing that you have to look at is the pound USD and pound JPY. So once again, pound USD is uptrending, but the only thing that Kumo is too young, too short on the daily chart. And also pound JPY, this is nice and stable uptrend, but only the thing is that the price is exactly at the resistance line, and the Chikou span might be within the candles after this daily candle close. So until we wait for today's daily candlestick close, we're not sure whether the market goes up or down. It might be resisted here and goes backwards too from tomorrow. So we have to watch out in this condition. So this is uh, a step ahead uh, on the 4-hour chart because usually I look at the daily chart, I compare daily chart and also 4-hour charts and see which one to follow. So let's start from the pound JPY. So pound JPY right now is at the resistance and you can see that Chikou span is about to touch the, the, about, I mean, touching the resistance line. But um, let me switch now to the 4-hour chart. Okay, let me switch it to forward chart and you can compare how different these uh, time frames are in terms of Ichimoku. So here is forward chart. So here is forward chart. So in forward chart, you can see that the Kumo is sloping up and also the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen has been pointing upwards and Chikou span above the candles. And this looks to be a bullish trend, stable bullish trend. However, once again, here is another thing about the Kumo is that the Kumo in this case is too thin in 4-hour chart. So if you see this kind of th too thin Kumo like this, the price can retrace backwards too. So in this case, in 4-hour chart basis also, um, I expect the market breaks, uh, after I expect the market retraces backwards and be supported by the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen and bounces off and goes up this way is my expectation so in this condition i won't jump in to the market so once again let me split um the two time frames so on the left is let me put the daily chart and on the right i will put the pound jpy 
on one hour. So in four hour, four hour chart. And uh, let's see. So yeah, so once again, on the left is the pound JPY daily chart, on the right is the four hour chart on the same currency. And if you if you compare the, these two pairs, uh, th these two time frames, both are at the resistance line, and also the the uh, the daily chart once again, the chikou span is not clearly breaking on the daily chart, and also in four, it this is a very strong uptrend. However, the kumo is too thin, so. Um, in these two time frame confirmations by Ichimoku, I won't jump into the market. So once again, I expect the market retries backwards and consolidate or push back. And when it happens in 4 hour chart, that will make the Kumo a bit thicker, like this. Kijun Sen, uh, sorry, the Senko Span B will become flat uh, when when it happens, when retracement happens. But Senko Span A should keep going up because the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen continue to go upwards. So uh, <clears throat> that's what we can expect to happen. And once the market is become ready to break out, it will break out upwards afterwards. So this is where we, we don't want to jump into the market right now. And also in terms of the pound data, let me put the pound dollar um, on the right. Daily chart on the left. Sorry, on, on the left is a daily chart. On the right is a forward chart. And uh, yeah, so once again, in the daily chart, you see Kumo is too young, too short. So um, the price can retrace backwards anytime soon in a daily basis. And in forward chart too, you see the Kumo is too thin like this. It's not really stable Kumo. This is too thin Kumo. Even if even if you scale in like this, zoom in, like this, the Kumo is a bit too thin. So this is strong bullish trend, but it can retrace backwards anytime soon in this pound dollar too. So this is where I don't jump into the market and um, wait for another chance to come. Wait for the market consolidates and make sure I, I I make sure the market will be get ready to uh, get ready to um, set up for the next breakout meaning the market should consolidate uh, on this uh, N wave this, it's had me it's been I wave right now and retracement happens like this and if it goes up that will be go, that will go up on the N wave because without any retracements, no market can go up or no market can, can go down. These retracements are important for the market to be stably trending. But I do see that there is, it's been going up too high. So I expect the market retraces and push back after the pushback, it goes up like this. This is my expectation. So these are the pound pairs. So once again, um, for sure, um, you don't want to trade a pound AUD because it's ranging on the daily chart. Let me switch it to the pound AUD and this is ranging on the daily chart. And also a pound CAD, this is also retracing backwards. But still, the major direction is downtrending. So this retracement can be uh, temporary and it can go down too still or it can go upwards to the Kijun Sen in the daily chart, so uh, we have to hold in this case. And also in terms of pound Swiss franc, it's ranging too. The price is exactly in the Kumo or Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is not a good one to look for any trading edges. So I would focus on the pound dollar and pound JPY, but both are still at the resistance or the Kumo is uh, a pound dollar, the Kumo is too young, too short. So this is not the market to jump in for myself. 
and you can do so uh, by these Forex pairs and also I do take tries on gold uh, so uh, you can do the same analysis on these Forex pairs in gold and see which one to pick to take trades. So yeah, that's my view on the pound pairs. So thank you for watching until the end. I will be uh, get ready to uh, to see my uh, family here. So uh, yeah, I have to go. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please press a good button. And uh, please uh, subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live sessions every day on my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, today is Monday and um, the market is very active today from Monday. So finally, we see some trending pairs. The JPA pairs are also trending too, and some of the Euro pairs are also trending too. So uh, you must be able to look for some opportunities this week for sure. So I hope you have a great trading week this week and also a great day today. And I hope to see you on the next session. So until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.